Nachos, welcome here. Previously, you guys saw us do a huge kitchen declutter to get us ready for our kitchen reno, and then we actually went ahead and did our kitchen reno. I link both of those videos down below if you wanna see the before and after of this kitchen area. But now that it is done, as I told you guys before, it is time to fully organize this area. When it comes to like plates and cups, we're good, all that stuff is good, but I'm like specifically thinking about certain places such as the pantry. This pantry is so great. We really do like it, but we need to organize it a little bit more to make it a little bit more functional, more themed. So we're gonna be doing that in today's video. We have a spice rack pullout that we're gonna do as well. I have an idea of doing like a healthy baking cupboard as well. So we're gonna get cracking with today's video. I hope that you guys enjoy it. I hope it kind of inspires you to maybe organize as well. I'm not doing everything to make it look really aesthetically pleasing, even though I am very much that type of person. But overall, I want it to be firstly functional and then also honestly, just look really, really good. So thank you for being here and let's go ahead and get started. I feel like when anyone is trying to organize their pantry, their kitchen, anything in their life, they go to Ikea and pop onto Amazon. And that's exactly what I did. I'm gonna take you guys on our Ikea trip that we went on yesterday and I'll show you guys what I got as well. I had a plan, I went to Ikea, plan changed just a little bit, but let's look at that. Okay, so these were the containers I came for, but of course they were out of stock. So I got these ones instead. And honestly, they're pretty awesome. Give me a problem and I will fix it pretty much on the spot. So even though Ikea didn't have the bins I wanted, they still have so many other options that I could go for. And in the end, I'm kind of glad that I went with glass instead of plastic. Also, one of my favorite foods in the world is pasta. I do gluten-free with soy sauce and a little bit of Parmesan cheese. Or you can do like the vegan Parmesan. It's so Good. That's what we're making for lunch. So these are the things that I got at Ikea. These things are going to help me organize this cupboard. In a little bit, I'm gonna show you guys the things that I'm really going to organize and my plan, but this is what I got from Ikea. These kind of rectangular glass containers that come with these airtight bamboo lids. These are cool. And I also got the large ones. These are gonna be great for flour maybe sugar. <laughs> I got a huge flour bin for my bread flour and I got a couple extra of these baskets in a different tone. I think I'm gonna swap the ones that I have over here with these ones and then I have plans for those ones too. I love this area of the kitchen because I have a secret Ooh. pull out spice drawer. That clinking and clanging is my main issue right now. All my spice jars continually fall over every time I open it. So as you can see, when I pull this out, these spice jars on the bottom all fall. They have a small bottom and a wide top. They're just topsy-turvy. These were given to us as a bridal present with an actual spice rack, but I don't like keeping spices on my counter. I like having them a little more hidden. So I have some spice jars from Amazon that are glass and square that are not going to tip over. So we're gonna do that. That's gonna be so great because this is so annoying. I can't even begin to tell you, like I literally love cooking with spices and herbs and salts, but I almost haven't been, cause this is so annoying. Okay, okay. Y'all be good. This kitchen has so many cabinets, like literally so many cabinets. It's absolutely fantastic, but this one has just been weird. I have flowers up top and some tropeca powders and that's it. I would like to put the tropeca things with more like breakfast foods and then do something with those flowers. We're gonna tackle that and I should probably stir this, probably. And then walking over here, we have our nice big long pantry that I showed you guys 
guys before. All these areas, I want them to be a little more themed. Down here, I would like it to be cereals and breakfast and smoothie stuff, cooking stuff, pastas and canned goods, which is pretty much what it already is. Snacks, here we have breads and spreads. Here, I want it to just be some bulk items instead of random things that would actually fit nicely into here, such as cereals and breakfast foods. They can totally go down there if I move the baking stuff over here. So I realized that was a lot of info and rambling in a very short amount of time. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you guys in simple terms the goals, what we're doing to help you get more of a feel of what's gonna go on. Okay, so this healthy baking cupboard, flour, sugars, you know, this, put all of these spices into those nice square spice jars, fully label them, it's going to look and act beautifully. We're gonna change out these baskets for a different tone and use these probably in this area in the pantry. Uh, and then we're just gonna organize this. We're gonna have breads and spreads with breads and spreads. We're gonna organize the pasta, the snacks. It's going to be beautiful. It's another we're not in frame frame. <laughs> I'm going to start here because I feel like this is a great way to get a bunch of the stuff in the other pantry into here. Also, the reason I'm making this my baking cupboard is because when I'm baking, I'm kind of in this corner and we don't have a ton of stuff to fill up where people would typically put plates and cups. So, I always say so. <laughs> Me and Kieran were just talking about how I always say so and and K. So and K, I'm gonna take this stuff out and we're gonna start filling it up with some baking stuff. So this is where my baking stuff is right now, as well as there's some chilling in here. These are more like my nut flowers and such but I'm gonna have to take all this, put it over there. I do have some containers from Amazon that are still coming, which are gonna be a huge part of the baking cupboard. But for now, we're just gonna start with what we got. Just love. stuff and these are the containers that that is going to go into as well as those other super sick looking Amazon containers. Here's the thing, I bought containers that had no reviews like on it and they were quite expensive because I got nine sets of them. So it was like really expensive and <laughs> What did I say, explicit? Really explicit. So that was like really expensive. With shipping, it was like, it was really expensive. Anyway, I hope they're nice. They don't have to be amazing, just nice. <laughs> I'm going to work at putting some of these into here. This big bin, I'm going to put my bread flour into for when I make sourdough. And I think I'm going to keep it over there in that pantry because it's gonna fit better. And I do use flour for a lot of cooking. So it won't be out of place there. I have been looking forward to this. All these are washed. <laughs> I've been looking forward to this so much. It's gonna be so great. If I can open this, yeah, let's do it. containers I'm getting from Amazon. All these little things are gonna go in. But these are kind of like my main baking things. That is coconut flakes. I am going to mix my date sugar and my coconut palm sugar because I find I always put them into the same recipes anyways. And they both got that like caramel. Whoa, that is super strong. Yeah. Date powder. Yeah. So anyway, I thought I would just kind of put those together. I don't know what I'm gonna put in here. I might leave this one empty for now, but what I think I'm gonna do is move these things over there. We're gonna come back to these things in today's video as soon as our package comes in, organize them, put them all in, and we're also going to label these because I feel like you just need to label things. Yeah. Especially if you're like me. If you're like OCD <laughs> like me, you need to label things. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> That turned out 
ahead and put my bread flour for my sourdough into this. I feel like I need a big container for my bread flour and just a small medium sized one for my whole wheat because I use a little bit of whole wheat for the germ in my sourdough and then a lot of the bread flour which is properly like fermented. Oh man, this is gonna be so good. So we're gonna move this into the pantry. Oh, I like the snaps. These are solid snaps. I am going to place it right here. I'm actually just gonna quickly go through these because I do not think they are all within date. There's a few that were given to me that I really didn't like. I'm just gonna quickly go through. We can organize this, see what we gotta do next. So next we're gonna go into this lower one. This is going to be the cereal smoothie area. I really love breakfast. I'm a huge smoothie person as well. And I feel like I usually have smoothies for breakfast. So breakfast things, smoothie things, that's also going to get rid of all the random cereal we have at the top. We'll have our own special breakfast drawer. Pantry is looking great. This one is looking great. I originally wanted to put these all beside each other in one row, but it was way too snug. And I kind of like having the idea of sweets kind of up here, nuts and flaxes through here. So I figured I'm gonna put some almonds in this since I use almonds, eat almonds, make almond milk, almond flour all the time. I only have a few, but that's all good. All these little bagged items are gonna be put in those special jars and put through here, and it's gonna look real cute. Let me direct your attention. Another out of frame shot. So I really wanna reserve these two high shelves for bulk items, for stock up items, and for unopened items. For example, my whole wheat flour is a bulk item. I'm gonna tuck it in there. Cane sugar, another bulk item. Oh, I need a chair. I can't really say this is extremely organized, but it's just the idea that if we run out of whole wheat flour in that cupboard, we know that there's more here. I have some animal crackers I can take down for the kids. Oh, and at the very top, I have refills of all my spices. Okay, so the baskets I had here, I used for the breakfast area. But um, right down here, oatmeal, pancake mix, and raisins for oatmeal. And I'm going to put these baskets right here. I like that they're not white in our super white kitchen. And I love the netting of these because it just helps your produce breathe really well. Okay, that looks good. These are all of our clean spice jars that maybe I'll try to tackle that right now so I can fix this situation. So my next objective is to do this. At first I was gonna stand and do this at the peninsula, but this is gonna take me such a long time. So I need to put all the old spices into these spice jars. I'm going to label them with my Dymo labor. <laughs> labor? Labor. <laughs> oh, what am I thinking about right now? I'm going to label everything with my Dymo labeler. That's so hard to say. And everything that needs to be filled up a little more. I have my extra spices. This is gonna take me so long, but I do have quite a bit of time here. Kieran just came home and brought me green juice. Where are my green juice? Juicy. Find my green juice. Find my green juice. Okay, so, and, but, let's just do it. So far, our kitchen organizational kind of situation, it has been working and I have been enjoying it. It's nice having things put into their proper homes and houses so we can easily find it and the kids can do so as well. But we're not done yet because there's a couple things I've decided I want to do and then we also did get our Amazon order which had the rest of our 
containers. <laughs> I don't remember what they're called. So this way, this whole pantry that I've been organizing, I do want to properly label every single drawer. We have five drawers and I want to be able to label them. I think when people come and look after the kids and stuff, it's nice for them. If they're feeding the kids, they can see this is where this is, this is where that is. Just makes it a little more simple. Moving over this way, we have these containers. They're beautiful. The reason I bought them was purely for the size. They do look cute. Like they're just, they're kind of cute. They're plastic. I got them from Amazon. I'm just gonna tell you right now. I bought nine different sets of them and they, they became very expensive once you buy nine different sets and have to spend $130 for shipping. But I looked for a couple weeks to try to find this exact size for this right here. I want to get something where the depth of this also lined up properly with the depth of the cupboard. I have this area here where I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these larger kind of containers, mildly want to call them canisters, and they lay perfectly just like that. And then you can see I have like my other little Ikea organizers. And then on this side, it's like the random things that have not been properly put into like a labeled container. That is what we're gonna do today. I got lots of like nuts, dates, salt. I just got stuff that needs to be properly labeled and properly put away for my baking cupboard. Oh, can I have that on my belly again? Oh. It's much hotter now. Ooh, wait. This feels good. You guys can watch me put this on my belly. My belly is so sore. Oh my gosh, and coffee. <laughs> oh, that feels so good. It's just Kieran's warm Chemex on my growing belly. It really, it feels stretchy today. It's not crampy, it feels like it's stretching today. Oh, this feels so good. We need two of these. <laughs> <laughs> I can warm up, I can warm up the bean bag for you. The part that we filmed before this, we were pregnant, but we weren't telling everyone, and now we're pregnant and we're telling everyone, so that's that's nice to talk about and be about and stuff. Loungewear. Some ladies wear boudoir, I wear loungewear. <laughs> so while the kids are entertained playing Play-Doh for now, we need to just start putting things from there, here, putting them in, labeling, sticking them back in there. I'm also mildly doubting the setup of this. <laughs> We, or I, will tell you, we kind of have reorganized this a little bit. Small jars, glass containers, more jars, glass containers. We need to take all this stuff and put it into those empty containers. Label them with my handy dandy labeler. What does that make you think of? My handy dandy notebook. Notebook. Blues, 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 blues. I guess we just need to start.
that is all done, I'm going to quickly just label this pantry. The kids are upstairs, that is the sound that you are hearing. But each of these shelves, or I guess like pull out drawers, are a certain category. <laughs> so we have like breads and spreads, snacks, pastas, canned goods, and then like cooking oils and such. And I do have my big thing of bread flour here. At the very bottom that you can't see, that's all of our like cereal and breakfast foods. But I think I'm just gonna label them and just be like beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Do we really need that? No, but I think when people come and look after our kids, they'll appreciate it. And then on top of that, it's just nice to have everything labeled, organized. It feels good. And Kieran's been using this labeler the whole time and I wanna try to use it. Last time my hand cramped so bad. <gasps> That's what we're missing. I didn't show you guys. Okay, I'll show you soon. I didn't show you guys my herb pull out thing. It looks so good. That was the last time I used this and my hand was like, uh, it was like, it was veiny and like old lady, like nothing wrong with old ladies. They have the softest hands, but I'm going to, don't you agree? <laughs> nothing wrong with that. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and label this. guys, me guys, because there is actually two of me. How weird is that? I'm excited to do more pregnancy videos and like see my belly get big and like try to handle it. <laughs> and another thing, I let go of pretty much all my baby stuff. You guys saw me like declutter like maternity clothes, baby stuff. So I'm gonna have to get a bunch of that. And my job is so great because I know so much stuff does get sent to me and I think that's really, really cool. So there's even extra baby stuff that we have that we're giving away to more friends, more family who are expecting babies because we kind of know that we will either get sent that or we'll have the ability to use those ones again or something. Isn't that fun? Kieran's labeling for me. I got tired of it really quickly. <laughs> Oh my gosh, my tongue is so big. I'm still pretty much sick every morning. I'm super tired. I saw this picture of this woman pregnant, <laughs> throwing up in the toilet and the caption of it is, I've never been happier. And I was like, it's so true. Even when you're sick and throwing up and just so tired, early pregnancy is so magical. It's so nice. I remember growing up and I had friends that had really cute little tongues. So when we do pictures where we'd stick out our tongues, they'd be like, eh, like it was so cute. And then me, I was like, eh. <laughs> my parents are watching. You guys remember, like remember, it was like the bigger teeth, the bigger tongue. I don't know why I'm talking about this. We're, this is probably so much footage anyways. I need to sit down and like chit chat with you guys. Cause I just feel like talking. So the labeling is done. And then on top of that, for the breakfast drawer, I decided to put our cereal in these containers because we had three extras. So <laughs> let's just, let's make this look real pretty. So we have our cereals here. We have brown sugar and raisins for when we make oatmeal for breakfast. We have some gluten-free waffle mixes, instant oatmeal, and then a bunch of my smoothie stuff, which is usually what I have for breakfast. So that looks great. Here's just another look at our oils, vinegars, and grains. Grains in the back, lots of oils and vinegars, and then the big tub of bread flour for my sourdough. Pastas and canned goods, which works really nice. Our snacks, which is super cute. And then breads and spreads, which is pretty much like butter, honey, almond spread. We have a little bit of bread here. But anyway, that is all completely labeled and done. We have, bum bum bum, the finished baking cupboard. Look at how nice. So everything that has something in it is labeled. I have a couple empty containers there as well as up here. Nothing is in them just cause I didn't have anything to put in them. But as I bake and such, I'm always finding new things so I can always add something there. And then there are a couple things that are not labeled because because I don't always have these kind of things on hand, just sometimes, so I don't wanna label it and then I always have to put that kind of stuff in there, I can change it up. Oh, and for these ones, the labeling is on the top, which is easy to see. I think it's really cute. So anyway, that is all done, which feels great. I do have these extras, which, hmm, maybe 
have my stevia that I can always put in one. Put some of my Dalgona coffee. This isn't Dalgona, this is, what are you? What are you? Oh, Dandy Blend. May put some of the kid snacks into like these tubs. I actually don't know what I wanna do with these, so I'm just gonna put them aside for a time when I go, oh, and then I'll use them. Stevia. Oh man, I'm gonna have to label these again. I'm tired of labeling. I know it's weird, I love the dust of Stevia. It's so good, okay. S, P, Stevia. I'm almost done with you, label maker. Okay, Stevia, I can only take so much of labeling. <laughs> this is my Dandy Blend coffee substitute for when I was not having coffee. It smells so good. I'm not gonna label this because I bet you I'll be out of this pretty soon. Oh, and actually let me show you. They're cool because they all twist into each other, which is nice. And usually I would have these together anyways. Okay. <laughs> these, I'm just going to put the kids' snacks in. Cracker, I actually have more of these. I'm also feeling like by having like these jars and things, I could probably shop more bulk, less bagged and plastic things. These are different colors, but it's kind of fun. The kids will think it's fun. But I can start going to like bulk places and like zero waste places, bring these jars and just like refill them. You guys want to try a cookie? Yeah. Animal cracker cookie? There, those fit nicely just like that. All done, all done. And come to the ground with me. Boost the lighting so you guys can actually see. Ready, are you ready? Ah. Oh, man, you couldn't even see the top. Okay, trying it again. Ah. Look, it's all. <laughs> so here I have more of like my herbs. Here I have some of my like clovey, nutmeggy, cinnamony things. And then here is more of like my red spices, my spicy spices. And then here I just have some randoms. This makes sense. The idea of this came from my mother-in-law's kitchen because she has, I literally think two of these and they're just the best to organize your spices. Was that everything? Are we done? I think we're done. guys for watching me organize my life aka my kitchen i do truly hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in my next video bye